I dag skal det dreie seg om enorme høytallere fra Audiophysics. Vi skal få høre hva som er så spesielt med disse høytallerne, som det vil finnes tida i verden. Husk å trykke like og abonner på vår kanal hvis du vil ha flere videoer som dette. It's really a special speaker and it's the, the biggest one Audio Physique ever made. So it's our new flagship. Its name is uh, Medeos. It will be in the price point starting at uh, about 150,000 euro for the pair. And it carries a lot of technologies. Some of them are already used in other smaller models like Cardeas or Medex. And uh, there is one thing that is really special and that is the new mid-range design. It seems like a spider or something. Spider uh, it's, a, it's a kind of, we, na we name it foil and frame structure because there is a very thin membrane foil that's only 0.1 gram for one driver. And it's one tenth of a millimeter thick only. And we have a carrying structure. This one is printed in a different material. All these structures are printed, 3D printed. And this uh, frame carries the, connects the voice coil that is connected to the inside, to the surround at the outside. And uh, the ideal is that if it moves, it takes the membrane with it. So it's not bracing the membrane because there's nothing to brace it because there is nothing, no material. So this one moves, and this one is, in principle, sealing the whole structure. So, so the spider is moving, not the... It's, it's connected, it's glued together. So this is what is moving. So this one, this frame structure and the, the membrane foil, they are glued together and they move as one piston. How is that possible to do? Yeah, it's, it's possible to do because uh, 3D printing has really improved over the years and uh, I think to print such a structure was not possible some years ago, but now it is. And over the two years that I'm working on this special drive unit, uh, the printing process and the materials have already improved further and I think within the next years there will be more things happening in, in that range. And, this will make it possible to produce this mid-range driver as a new normal speaker. And we don't have any very special materials. It's, it's a polyester film. It's a mostly polyamide-based uh, frame structure. So nothing exotic, nothing toxic, nothing needed in this case. And uh, we, we achieve a, a flat membrane which has a very wide dispersion, a very controlled dispersion. So it's it uh, like a magnepan or a electrostatic? It's, it's, it's in a way a mix between a dynamic speaker and a foil type speaker like a magnetostatic or electrostatic speaker. So I wanted to combine the advantages of, of both principle in, in one unit and I, I think we are on a good way. <laughs> but this can be used in uh, every speaker you have and it will be much cheaper after a while. Yes. As soon as we get in a, in, a, in a normal production process, it will be very reasonable. Okay, it's, it's still not extremely cheap, but it's not as expensive as, as, as beryllium or diamond or whatever. And uh, the good thing is our drivers are, are made in a, in a special basket design. And uh, anyone who's buying our Medex or Codex speaker around 10,000 euro will be able to get this driver maybe in two or three years and just replace the driver and he gets the new sound. So he doesn't have to buy a new speaker all the time. What's so special about the sound of this uh, mid-range driver? What is uh, special, yeah. The point is I'm, I'm working with these drivers now for almost two years and even the first prototype, which had not very good measurements, offered so many aspects to the music that if I listen to it, or if other people listen to it for a while, they say, I forget all this hi-fi thing. I only hear the music. Within a short time, I don't think about treble and mids and highs and amplifiers. And I just sit and I'm part of the music. So it's, it's, it's completely disappearing. So this is what it does.
but you have another mid-range uh, driver there also. Why do you have that? This is a very big speaker and it has very low distortion. And I know from practice that people who use a speaker with low distortion, they like to listen with high volume. <laughs> and uh, if there's no distortion, they think they can even use higher volume and then this tweeter alone would be blown away. So we have added this one just to have more dynamic range. How uh, loud can it <laughs> play now? For me, too loud. <laughs> Very loud, yes. I, I, don't, I, I didn't measure it, but it, it does. <laughs> much more than 100 dB. M much more than is healthy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's also uh, other things about uh, this. It's uh, many, many bass uh, uh, drivers here. Can you tell a little bit about uh, that? The, the base driver the, or the base principle is in principle like base reflex with passive radiators. So we have the active radiators sitting on the side and we have two passive radiators for each module. These are two woofer modules, one and the other. And the specialty in, in those drivers, those active drivers, is they have a dual voice call system. So there's a primary voice call that is connected like a normal speaker we are the crossover to the M. And the second one, the passive radiator, is a normal woofer as well. It has a magnet, it has a voice coil. And by connecting the second voice coil of this one to the voice coil of that, I can control the woofer behavior. So overall, I can adjust this speaker in a range of about 6 dB in the bass without changing any, any big thing, only by increasing the, the coupling between the units. So it, it can shift more or less from a base reflex into a sealed box behavior. But uh, do the customer do it themselves? Yeah, there, are, there will be small switches. I have them inside now, but they will be outside, so you can easily switch and adjust it as you like. You have a lot of uh, membranes yes. here. You know, if you have all the, the membrane area in the woofer, you need to, to have something to cover the range from 100 to 300 hertz, and this is what they do. Just to cover the, the dynamic behavior of over the whole range. They are very big. Uh, how do you carry it in, inside the room? This is quite easy. Right? If, you, if you take a look from here, what you get is you get one box that is this mounted on the on the bottom plate. That's, that is the first woofer module you get. Then you stack on the second woofer module onto it and fix it. And then you have the, the mid-range, mid, mid and high-range panel that is fixed from the front. So three parts, all of them easy to handle. So I think within about two hours you can set it up in any room. So this is, you don't have to carry the whole speaker. <laughs> But if you should carry the whole speaker, how uh, heavy I, is it? I, I think it's in the range of about 200 kilos. I, I don't know. We didn't measure it. it. It was really finished on Friday, and we didn't have the time to. It was a just-in-time production. Yeah. <laughs> how soon will it be on the market? I think it will take about six to eight months to, to make them. It will be 10 pairs only if it's uh, limited uh, edition only. So, And we will start, I think, in about six to eight months to ship the first ones.